Tooth numbering is a notation used by dental professionals to denote and specify information linked with a particular tooth. Using a tooth numbering system allows for for easy identification, to identify and classify the condition associated with the concerned tooth both clinically and radiographically. Communication, this allows easy communication among the dental professionals to assess and treat dental disease. And lastly, as dental record maintenance in an easy and a precise manner. The three most common systems are, the ISO 3950 system, or also called the FDI World Dental Federation Notation the universal numbering system, and the Palmer notation method. The ISO system uses a two-digit numbering system, where the first digit represents the quadrant of the tooth, and the second digit represents the number of the tooth from the midline of the face. It also applies to the deciduous or baby teeth. The first digit is about the quadrant, and the second digit is about the tooth. Let us now apply what we had learned about ISO system. This is the upper arch, and this is the lower arch with permanent teeth. Let's draw a line, separating the upper arch and the lower arch. To make quadrants, draw another line, on the midline located between the upper central incisors, up to the lower incisors. In this ISO system, each quadrant were represented by a number. The numbers associated with each quadrant of permanent teeth are Number 1, the upper right section of teeth. Number 2, the upper left section of teeth. Number 3, the lower left section of teeth. And number 4, the lower right section of teeth. Let us now go to the second digit. Remember that the ISO system is a two-digit combination. The second digit indicates the tooth within the quadrant. In every quadrant, the permanent teeth are numbered from 1 to 8. Counting starts with the central incisor and ends with the third molar. In describing a single tooth, I will give an example. The upper right first molar is located in the first quadrant, and when you count starting from the central incisor, you will find that the first molar is number 6. So you will write it like this, write number 1 as the first digit, as it represents the quadrant and write number 6 as the second digit, as it represents the tooth. Describe the tooth as 1 6, not 16. I will give another example, I want to know the two digit for the upper left second premolar. The upper left second premolar, is located on the second quadrant, write number 2. Remember that the quadrant number is the first digit, while the second number identifies the individual tooth. In counting from the central incisor, the second premolar is counted as number 5. Write 2 and 5. Say this is 2 5 and not 25. Another example, I want to know about the lower left lateral incisor. Lower left quadrant is number 3, while the lateral incisor is number 2. Write 3 and 2. Say this is 3 2, and not 32. How about lower right third molar? Lower right, is found on the fourth quadrant. Then the third molar, is counted as number 8. Write 4 and 8. Say this is 4 8, not 48. Now, let's have a quick quiz. Upper left third molar. Pronounce it as 2-8. Upper right lateral incisor. Pronounce it as 1-2. Lower right canine. Pronounce it as 4-3. Lower left first premolar.
Pronounce it as 3-4. And upper left first molar. Pronounce it as 2-6. Good job! Let us now apply, the ISO system, on the deciduous or baby teeth. First draw a line, separating the upper arch, and the lower arch. To make quadrants, draw a line between the upper central incisors down to the lower central incisors. The number sequence are. The upper right section is number 5. The upper left section is number 6. The lower left section is number 7. And the lower right section is number 8. Each primary tooth represents a number, start counting from the central incisor, to the second primary molar. Primary central incisor is number 1, primary lateral incisor is number 2, primary canine is number 3, primary first molar is number 4, and primary second molar is number 5. Remember, that the first digit, is about the quadrant, and the second digit, is about the tooth. I will give an example. Upper left primary canine. Pronounce it as 6-3. Lower right primary first molar. Pronounce it as 8-4. Upper right primary lateral incisor. Pronounce it as 5-2. Let us have another quick quiz. Lower right primary second molar. Pronounce as 8-5. Upper right primary lateral incisor. Pronounce as 5-2. Lower left primary central incisor. Pronounce as 7 1. And upper left primary first molar. Pronounce as 6-4. Good job! Now we know about the ISO system. We will now tackle about the Universal Numbering System. The American Dental Association Universal Numbering System is primarily used in the United States. Teeth are numbered from the viewpoint of the dental professional, looking into the open mouth of the patient, clockwise starting from the distalmost right upper teeth. Make dental quadrants first to allow us a quick and easy understanding of the concerned tooth. All naming systems require an understanding of quadrants, so that a specific tooth located in a particular quadrant acquires the designated name. The naming starts from the posterior region of the upper right first quadrant, and each is numbered from 1 to 32 in a sequential pattern. The numbering starts from the third molar tooth where the upper right third molar is assigned as the number 1. This naming system follows a sequential pattern and continues until the left third molar tooth, which is numbered 16. The similar pattern follows in the lower dentition wherein the lower third molar in the third quadrant is assigned as number 17. And a sequential pattern ends with number 32 with lower right third molar tooth. This is the sequential naming pattern of the universal numbering system as designated by the American Dental Association. Number 1, third molar commonly known as wisdom tooth. 2. Second molar. 3. 
first molar. 4. Second premolar, also known as second bicuspid. 5. First premolar, or first bicuspid. 6. Canine or cuspid. 7. Lateral incisor. 8. Central incisor. 9. Central incisor. 10. Lateral incisor. 11. Canine. 12. First premolar. 13. Second premolar. 14. First molar. 15. Second molar. 16. Third molar. 17. Third molar. 18. Second molar. 19. First molar. 20. Second premolar. 21. First premolar. 22. Canine. 23. Lateral incisor. 24. Central incisor. 25. Central incisor. 26. Lateral incisor. 27. Canine. 28. First premolar. 29. Second premolar. 30. First molar. 31. Second molar. And number 32. Third molar. In deciduous or primary teeth, similar pattern is used, replacing the numbers to letters. It starts with letter A, as the second molar. B, first molar. C, canine. D, lateral incisor. E, central incisor. F, central incisor. G, lateral incisor. H, canine. I, first molar. J, second molar. K, second molar. L, first molar. M, canine. N, lateral incisor. O, central incisor. P, central incisor. Q, lateral incisor. R, canine. S, first molar. And T, second molar. We are done with the ISO system, and universal numbering system, now we go to the last method, which is the Palmer notation method. Palmer notation was named after Dr. Cordon Palmer, an Ohio dentist. It was originally named Sigmundy system after Dr. Adolf Sigmundy developed this idea in 1861. Palmer notation consists of a symbol, mapping in which quadrant the tooth is located, and a number telling the position from its midline. Permanent teeth were numbered from 1 to 8, while the deciduous teeth are from letters A to E. Palmer notation is very easy to remember compared to the other method we discussed. It is also the preferred method by the dental professionals in the United Kingdom. In this method, just remember the number designated on each tooth. 1. Central incisors. 2. Lateral incisors. 3. Canines. 4. First premolars. 5. Second premolars. 6. First molars. 7. Second molars. And 8. Third molars. I will give. I will present some examples. Upper right first molar. Let's make quadrants first. This is the upper right, upper left, lower left, and lower right. It says the quadrant is from the upper right, so draw this symbol. Then it says the tooth is a first molar, so counting from the midline to posterior, let's count each tooth, one for the central incisors, two for the lateral incisors, three for the canines, four for the first premolars, five for the second premolars, and six for the first molars. Now, write number six inside the symbol. And that's, the Palmer notation method. Let us have another example. Lower left central incisor. Draw the symbol of the lower left quadrant. Then the number designated to the central incisor is 1. Write number 1. Another example, upper left second premolar. 
draw the symbol of the lower left quadrant. Then the number designated to the second premolar is 5. Write number 5. And that's it. What about the deciduous teeth? The method is the same, except that it's uses letters instead of numbers. Let me cite one example. Upper right primary canine. Draw the symbol of the upper right. Then write letter C inside the symbol. Letter C is the designated letter for all the primary canines. Lower right primary lateral incisor. Draw the symbol of the lower right. Then write letter B inside the symbol. Letter B is the designated letter for all the primary lateral incisors. Upper left primary first molar. Draw the symbol of the upper left. Then write letter D inside the symbol, as the letter D represents all the primary first molars. Good job! You now know the methods for dental notation. Here's a recap. The ISO system. The universal numbering system. And the Palmer notation method. Tell me which is your favorite, or what you use on your practice. Feel free to comment on the section below. Thank you for watching.